It's a really important day. I think it's a great historical marker for uh, the Australian Paralympic Committee, the movement. But I think for Australian sport broadly, I think, you know, Australia has one of the preeminent histories in the Paralympic movement from around the world. And uh, to finally be in a position to recognise those people who've made the most significant contribution to what we've achieved as a country in Paralympic sport uh, is a terrific milestone and one that we're very honoured to be able to do. Paralympic Hall of Fame induction, I suppose, is, uh, I would say, one of the highest, uh, definitely, in the list of things that I've achieved in my life. Um, I think, you know, to be recognised by your own is probably the most important and, you know, it, it means the most as well. Um, I always say that I'm a, a Paralympic athlete uh, as opposed to, you know, an Olympic athlete or a world champion. It's always Paralympic first and this is definitely, I'd say for me, um, one of the highest achievements. Her work and her performances and their resulting impact in raising the awareness of Paralympic sport uh, and really brought that to the attention of the public and, and obviously the Sydney Games for her were a great highlight and uh, she goes on to continue making a great contribution now of course as a coach and uh, a very worthy inductee. It was, it was such a, an honour really to uh, to be involved in it and thinking, gee whiz, you know, well, this, this is something extraordinary. You listen to the guys who were teammates with him back in, in Rome in 1960, the very first Paralympic Games, and his athletic skill, his, his elitism as an athlete uh, is just renowned, you know, in that era. But then his contribution as a coach and as an administrator is just unmatched. And it's a great privilege, I think, for us to be able to recognise him. And uh, it's unfortunate, of course, that, uh, you know, he recently passed away, but I know that it's an honour that would have been particularly close to his heart. Frank Ponter was, uh, of course, one of my first coaches ever. Uh, he met me as a very young eight-year-old and I think he saw something in me that I didn't know existed. And um, yeah, he was probably, you know, showed me what was possible and you know, obviously had a lot of fun along the way and um, mentored me into the athlete that I became. So very special to have him alongside me being one of the first to be inducted. Paralympic sport had its roots back in uh, in recovery, you know, rehabilitation, uh, particularly from spinal cord injuries and, and right back in the early stages from injuries in battle. Uh, and Sir George Breadbrook really led that movement in Australia uh, and was a huge advocate for the power of sport and the, and the importance of participating in sport as a form of rehab, medically but also psychologically. And, um, you know, those things laid the foundation stones for what today is a very professional, very popular, very high profile uh, Paralympic movement, not just in Australia, but around the world. When you um, stop you know, your sport and you retire from it, you don't expect to keep on getting accolades or, or anything. So yeah, it's great. And I think it's just a, to show you know, the future and, and how we're progressing and yeah, having our own Hall of Fame is great.